Hello crafty friends, it's Crafty Owl here with a project for cat scrappiness. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little layered heat embossing and die cutting to create a fun kind of Valentine's Day card or just an anytime I love you card. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Today's card was inspired when I first saw the Scoop of Love die set from Cat Scrappiness. This little topper here, I knew that I wanted to make it look like this was melting onto a heart below it. Well, I decided, what about some melting metal? So we're gonna be using gold embossing powder today to make a piece of cardstock, a custom piece of cardstock to cut out with this. Now, I also needed some other dies for my card, of course. So I got out the Love You Sentiment with Shadow die and my new favorite, the Stitched Hearts cover plate. Once I start the process, I will bring in some more products and tools and I'll let you know about those. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. To get started, I got out my Versamark ink pad and my Detail Gold embossing powder. Now you do not have to use Detail, you can use regular. I just like how this is a little more modeled. Then I got out two scraps of off-white cardstock that were big enough to fit the dies and leave me a little handhold there on the left side to hold it while I'm embossing. I place my first scrap of cardstock face down onto my ink pad. I made sure that the left edge was on the pad and did my best to get everything nice and juicy. Then I moved it down just a little bit, trying to remember where I had ended with the first push down and just pressed again. Now I'm gonna bring in that embossing powder and pour it over this piece and you'll start to notice the powder sticking on it. Now this is not a perfect science. You'll notice that there are some areas that aren't very powdery. So I did my best to pour some more powder on there and then I'm gonna bring in my heat tool and heat set this. I let the tool heat up for about 30 seconds before I brought it into the back of the cardstock. Once that had heated up a little bit, I then turned my cardstock around and I tried to melt it as quickly as possible, making sure to get each of the areas nice and melted. You'll see here that it's not perfectly smooth, but that is actually why I chose the detail powder. Now once this piece had had some time to cool down, I then redid that same process for a second layer on this. This does smooth it out just a little bit, but it's almost kind of like a brushed gold look to it. I did the same thing to the second piece of cardstock, and then I'm gonna do some die cutting. Both of the gold pieces and then this scrap of red, I'm gonna cut out with the red heart. While I was off screen, I did go ahead and use a scrap of white cardstock on the Stitched Hearts cover plate die. Because of all the heat and embossing, the top part of the heart was a little wrinkled. So when I went to put my art glitter glue on the back of this piece, I made sure to get really good coverage. Then I got it lined up with the top of my heart. And once I did that, I did my best to kind of press everything down. I did bring in a stamp block to help with that. And then I let this set for about five minutes to get nice and adhered. While that glue was drying, I cut and folded a top fold card base off camera and I adhered my stitched hearts piece to the front of that. This does cover the entire front. After that was adhered, I brought back in my heart, which was nice and dry and flat now, and I started playing with the layout of the pieces on the front of the card. 
to assist with the sentiment, I got a piece of press and seal that would fit it. And I spent a little time getting that lined up on the press and seal, which is just slightly tacky, but I can arrange those pieces and it will hold it in place long enough for me to add the adhesive to the back and place it onto the card front. You'll see here that once the sentiment had time to dry on the card front that I could just carefully peel back the press and seal and it leaves the sentiment right where I want it. Since the card was pretty flat so far, I brought in some foam tape and added it to the back of the heart before placing it onto the card front. Now the only thing left to do is to add a little bling. To do this, I got out the My Valentine enamel dots from Cat Scrappiness, and I'm going to use the pink and the red on this. I placed two of the large pinks kind of tucked in behind the heart, and then I added three of the small red ones on the card front. Here's a finished close-up look at the final card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.